This is a walkthrough for adding form fields to a DDP. Form fields are useful if you want to merge data into your documents that's not persisted inside of Salesforce. As an example, when the user selects a Lou Plus button, chooses a DDP and selects Run, they'll be taken to a Visual Force page that's a form where they can input data and then merge that data into their documents. To begin, we must first select the DDP and then download the files within the DDP. Once we have the files downloaded to our desktop, we can then open them up and begin tagging. Now, form tags are different than Salesforce tags. What we want to do is assign spots for these form field tags and then assign them a range inside of Excel that's unique to anything that can be found inside Salesforce. So we don't want to give it a field tag of account underscore name or contact underscore name, etc. We instead want to make up a range at the top of our head, something that can't possibly be found with inside Salesforce. So for this Excel document, we're going to assign the social security number a range of SSN. Then we're going to give marital status a range of marital. We're going to give favorite color a range of fave color and another description a range of other description. Now we can save this Excel file and move on to the Word document. We must first designate spots for our form field tags and then make up a range inside of angle brackets. For the terms section we're going to use the range terms and conditions. Now we're going to have another spot for a field reference and use the range reference inside of angle brackets. Because these ranges cannot possibly match anything inside Salesforce, Loop should have no problem picking them up as form fields. So now we must save the Word document, navigate back to Salesforce, and replace both of the existing Excel file and Word files inside of the Documents tab. Once we've successfully replaced each file, we can then navigate back to the DDP, refresh the page, and navigate down to the Form Steps section and select Edit Form. This will automatically detect any form field ranges inside of our documents. So as you can see, all of the ranges from our Word and Excel doc were detected, including the image tag that we inserted into the Word document in a previous video. We can add steps to our Visual Force form pages by selecting the Add Step button and then giving the steps a name. Now that we've added steps and given them a name, we can check off specific fields that we want to move on to different steps. In this case, we're going to move the marital, favorite color, social security, and other description form fields to the Excel information form step. Now we can choose the image tag and select ignore to completely ignore it. From here, we can relabel our form fields the label is what appears to the user on the form visual force page. Next we must choose a type. Your options are text, memo, drop down, radio, radio inline, checkbox, checkbox inline, date, and view. A description of all of these field types can be found on the support page. Choose which types you want for each document and then move on to the default value. A default value can be either static text or a reference to a field from a record you run from. If you want to add a help text, you can add a help text and also validation. Moving on to the Excel information form step, we're going to edit each form field label. Again, 
These labels are what appear to the user in the Form Visual Force page. Now if you want to rearrange the order in which these form fields appear, you can simply drag and drop them within the interface. Now that we've chosen the order and changed the labels, we're going to select what field types we want to use. Now we're going to set some default values. Again, default values can be either static text or references to fields from records that you run from. To make the default value of field, you must choose the lookup class, select the object, and then the field available within that object. If you choose drop down as a field type, you can assign list values to those drop downs. The syntax is the display value, comma, the merge value. For this example, we're giving the marital status field values of single and married and the favorite color field values of blue, red, and green. These will be options that the user can select in the form visual force page. Now that we save our form steps, we can go to a record and choose to run. Select the loop plus button on the record, choose the DDP with form fields, and then select run. You will instantly be taken to the form visual force page. Go to the appropriate steps and edit the form field values. As you can see, some of the form fields have been defaulted with information set in the edit form page. Once you filled in all information to the form field, select next to move on to the next step. As you can see, some of these fields have been defaulted with information that are both static and reference from the record we ran from. You can expand memo fields to view more text. Once you've entered all text into your form steps and form fields, select Run DDP to merge those values into your documents. Once a document is complete, you can download it to your desktop, open it up, and see that your form fields has been merged into your documents with your fields from Salesforce. And that is how you add form fields to a DDP. Thank you.